It's a perfect combination. One is a food-loving car fanatic who adores driving, while the other, it's an ex-army man who knows exactly what it takes to survive in the wilderness. Discovery Channel's latest survival series, One Car Too Far, follows a former British Special Forces operative Gary Humphrey and an American petrol head Bill Wu as they are dropped into the most extreme parts of Chile, South America and forced to work together in order to survive and escape to safety. The twist? Well, they have to learn to survive using just a four-wheel drive all-purpose vehicle. With no proper roads and no real supplies, the two must rely on instinct and expertise alone in order to make it out. The way Bill, a self-confessed adrenaline junkie with a love of fine dining, tells it, one car too far has something for everyone to enjoy. Action, adventure, and even a bit of bromance. It's not just for the guys, you know, it's not just a survival show, it's not just a car show, it's, it's something for the whole family, I think. You know, I believe it's entertaining enough for, you know, the girlfriend, the mom, the grandma, the dog, the uncle, anybody that's not even interested in cars mm. will understand there's a story about, you know, relationship between two guys, you know, and an adventure and, and problem solving and, um, you know, it, it's just Chile is such a beautiful country mm. and you get to see all these extreme environments. So, you know, it, it's like I said, it's not just a one-sided show, it, 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 it's a well-rounded show that uh, this guy put together very well called One Car Too Far. Packed with all the good stuff that one has come to expect from a Discovery Channel survival series, One Car Too Far elevates the genre to a new level, pitting Bill and Gary against the elements with only their wits and their wheels to help them endure Chile's most extreme environments. From icy glaciers to intensely humid and dense jungles, to shifting sands in arid deserts and mountains with treacherous slopes and sub-zero temperatures, one car too far pushes the limits of human endurance and explores the measures we resort to in order to survive. Given the extreme situations that they were in, did the pair come close to cracking at any point during the journey? Did I crack? He's you know, pointing towards you. you know, <laughs> crack is kind of like when I become a little loony and delirious and I talk about food because all I can think about is food and just right. talking about it made me feel better. <laughs> and so I talked about it a lot. A lot. A you lot. Wind you up, Gary? Yeah, yeah, you, you can't focus. You're trying to do a job and he's talking about Kobe beef. He's like that. What I'm going to do, as soon as I get back, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a massive steak and I'm going to get some tuna and I'm going to get some chicken and I'm going to. You're like, oh, for God's sake, like, you're just trying to concentrate on the job. Mm. And then you start salivating now, thinking about it. And I had to explain <laughs> to him what all these things are. Like, Gary just, I'm like, I'm like, trying to explain what Wagyu beef is, what Kobe beef, what Toro is. He didn't know what any of this stuff is. And so I had to explain to him. And then afterwards, you know, I had to like take him out and, you know, dine. Well, when you torturing yourself by doing this, though, mate, I mean, you know, I just knew it was gonna If I could just survive <laughs> two more nights, two more nights, <laughs> then it'll all pay off. So okay. that was my motivation. We got things, you know, I got. We, we made tea out of pine, out of mint, out of blackberries, out of all the different berries, grasses. It was mm. great, but he wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't try them. Well, he did try them. You know, I don't like this. This guy drinks so much tea, it's unbelievable. I've never met anybody that drinks as much tea as this guy. Showing off their handy survival tips to members of the local press at a recent press conference, it's clear that both guys certainly know their stuff. As a former Special Forces operative versed in survival techniques, the experience of shooting one car too far in Chile must not have been too difficult a task for a tough guy like Gary, right? Wrong. But most of the people I normally take, like on expeditions or cameramen or whatever we do, they, they want to listen. Yeah. And obviously the first two, two shows, Bill does not want to listen to me. And you can see it. And it winds us up. And it was hard. You know, it was hard. So you're trying to do everything. He's trying to do the car stuff. I'm trying to do everything else. And, uh, you know, mentally you're thinking, right, just the next hour, then it's the next day, and then right, we'll do the next show. Mm. And sometimes you just think, is it worth it? Because it was, I mean, when I had my toenail cut off, you know, I ripped the, I smashed my teeth, mm. and my mouth was infected, I'm trying to talk, and mm. you know, your altitude, all my hands were cut to pieces, my boot fell off. Um, and this is not due to me, this is due to probably the kit not being up to the scratch. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was hardcore. Mm. It was hardcore. Well, you at first, at first when I was like, like I said, I didn't know what I was getting into. 
you know, I didn't know I was gonna be sleeping outside for three nights. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I was gonna be rationed on food with barely anything. Yeah. And so the only thing I could do was just be comfortable in the car. And so I had my full <laughs> Gore-Tex on, I had the heater on, and the window rolled up. And that way it was kind of my way of getting out of the element and kind of like being somewhere in a nice place. Mm -hmm. And poor Gary was out there cutting himself up, soaked hypothermia, mm -hmm. lifting logs, and um, you know, doing all the grunt work. One of the appealing things about One Car Too Far has to be the relationship between Bill and Gary, both headstrong and both alpha males. Certainly, it makes for great TV. Oh no, yeah, so we, so we, we were alpha males, like we said, and we clashed heads quite a bit. Right. And he wanted to do things his way, and I didn't want to do things. I thought it was like ridiculous. So mm. extra, all this extra energy was done into this thing, and mm. or we didn't have any extra food. We'll just, I'd rather just sit there and preserve my energy, you know, preserve my calories. And he was like, no, you gotta do it this way. And then I was like, oh, shit, he's right. I gotta, you know. And so he was always right. And, um, and so it was just a point, it. yeah, a point to the point where he was so frustrated. And it was just like this kind of, I felt it was kind of like this power struggle until I got to the desert where all of a sudden I had control because he was just a passenger. Right. And, um, and it was really cool. But then the point where um, I scared him so bad that I was laughing at him. He didn't like it, and we got in a fist fight. <laughs> and so that was, uh, okay. and that, and that, well, but after that, after that, that, after that, that was good, things, and it, so. it resolved, and all the energy kind of like let out. It was kind of like the tension breaker thing yeah. that we needed to, to get it over. With. Yeah. And during the course of shooting one car too far, did the two guys end up learning stuff from each other? I learned loads. Yeah, and all those little fixes. But not just that, you know. Oh, here's the engine. But let's just check that there because there could be a leak. And, <laughs> At the end of the day, Bill would say, like, tighten the wheel nuts up. Well, they're tight, no, they're not. You know, the, the axle broke in the back, so we chopped a tree down and strapped it to the car and drove in two-wheel drive, mm -hmm. front-wheel drive, you know, through, the, through the, um, the woods. It was amazing, all those little yeah. things. And he's quite good at that. Well, I mean, Gary has tons and tons of, tons of experience. So mm -hmm. when you know, I mean, when we're on top of the glacier, he knew that I'd freeze my ass off in the car. And so he knew he had to dig in and dig an ice hole, you know? Mm. And he knew how to make these tents and stuff. He knew about deadfall in the, in the rainforest, where like, you know, it could fall, a log could fall and kill you. He knew how to make a solar stone, how to get water out of the ground in, mm. in the desert. And he knew, you know, all these different tricks and stuff that, um, that you have to have experience. One Car Too Far airs on Discovery Channel, Astro Channel 551 every Wednesday at 9 p.m. The series encores every Monday at 4 p.m and Thursday at 12 a.m. Yeah. So hot here in Malaya is yeah! Mwah!